नमस्ते आय एम डॉक्टर उर्मिला निश्चल कन्सल्टंट डॉमेटोलॉजिस्ट अँड अस्थेटिक डॉमेटोलॉजिस्ट ॲट निर्मल स्किन अँड हेअर क्लिनिक विजयनगर बँगलोर वी ऑल नो दॅट वी हॅव फाईन हेअर्स ऑन द फेस सो जस्ट बिसाईड्स द ओपनिंग ऑफ द हेअर फॉलिकल देर इज अ ग्लँड विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज अ ऑइल ग्लँड सो इन दिस पिक्चर यू कॅन सी दिस इज दी हेअर फॉलिकल अँड दिस इज दी ऑइल ग्लँड सो युजली वॉट हॅपन्स इज द ऑइल इज सिक्युरेटेड अँड थ्रू द ओपनिंग ऑफ द हेअर फॉलिकल इट गेट्स डिपॉजिटेड ऑन टू द स्किन सो इफ एव्हरीथिंग इज नॉर्मल दॅट इज द प्रोडक्शन अँड द डिस्ट्रीब्युशन इज नॉर्मल इट्स नॉट गोईंग टू कॉज एनी प्रॉब्लेम अँड द स्किन इज गोईंग टू लुक वेल नाईस हायड्रेटेड नो क्लॉगिंग ऑफ बोर्ड्स ऑर एनिथिंग बट इफ देर इज समथिंग रॉंग इन द प्रोडक्शन मीन्स इफ द ऑइल इज थिकर or if the quantity is more then what happens it won't be able to come out and your pores get blocked this could be due to stress the hormonal impacts or certain medications so they increase the oil production or they make the oil thicker and it's not able to come out so the oil gets collected in this oil bag and it becomes bigger and bigger it is seen onto the skin surface as a skin colored bump initially and then if it becomes bigger it becomes the red pimple another factor is from the outside so suppose you are applying some creams or some makeup they are going to block the outlet of the oil and then you are going to get the uh, clogged pores sometimes it is the makeup sometimes the cream sometimes the dust and the dirt also so cleansing the face properly is the most important thing to prevent clogging of the pores so how do we prevent clogging first check out your uh, creams and all whatever are you, you are using check the label non comedogenic on it and uh, if you feel that after applying a particular makeup or a cream you get skin colored bumps on your skin it is better that you avoid using that kind of cream or the makeup then comes the cleansing so use good exfoliating cleansers exfoliate your skin once in a while Uh, I prefer chemical exfoliation rather than physical exfoliation because physical exfoliation you have to scrub and that scrubbing can be harsh on the skin uh, damage the superficial layers of the skin and make it more sensitive and irritable so chemical exfoliation either a chemical peel or uh, uh, face washes based with higher concentration of salicylic acid glycolic acid would be of help then in the night time you can apply retinol based cream so uh, retinoids like tretinoin adapilene or retinol based so they exfoliate and uh, you can also have an addition of uh, beta hydroxy acid into it so which will help to uh, dissolve the uh, thick and oily secretions and help you out to get rid of the clogged pores sometimes in spite of doing all this the pores still keep on getting clogged so that time you have to keep a check on your lifestyle your diet a good metabolism for the body is very important and good diet so avoid food which is rich in fats and carbohydrates that will prevent excessive development of sebum and prevent clogging of the pores sometimes you need to get help of a dermatologist who would put you on oral retinoids so oral retinoids has a great role in preventing this clogging of the pores and preventing this excessive sebum production but they have to be always taken under supervision and only with the dermatologist guidance and uh, you can then uh, go ahead and get the chemical peels done or uh, some new technologies like tick cell which helps to deliver the actives directly into the skin without causing any problems to the skin so here we are using heat and mechanical energy to treat the pimples and of course light therapy also helps in treating the pimples which are clogged because of the clogged pores